So today I have this amazing 1994 Lexus LS 400 and it's a first generation but it's the last year of first generation being produced for United States. And you might gonna ask why I have this car where 2024 right now and I still have this 30 years old car because it's a one owner car, it has original paint and it's a white pearl. And I think this car, that's the one changed the whole market of the luxury sedans in the United States. The first time when this car came in 1989 on the US market, I didn't think the automakers like the Chevy or Dodge or any other brands, they've been thinking about Lexus going to change the whole market. It's going to change the whole vision on the Japanese luxury cars. And the Lexus LS did that. Besides the full technology, full of technology car, they've been produced and presented on the US market, they put nice and strong engine and transmission, which is not gonna fail, I think, almost never. That's the one who's that engine V8, and especially this car has 250 horsepower. So basically the short history of this car, this car been bought brand new in 1994 in the Santa Monica. So. It is a one owner, the car being well kept, that's why there is no sign of rust, none of it. It's a little bit kind of uh, not dirty, the leather on the seat is a little bit tight and dry, but the engine transmission not leaking, not kicking, and it has 1,700 miles only. The car passing smoke check every year with no problem. The owner is still happy, he has like several other cars, and it's a friend of mine, that's why I took it from him, because it's insanely cool car there is a lot of things from the japan like the yellow uh, fog lights in the middle of the headlights it's just insanely cool nobody doing that right now and nobody done it before only toyota and lexus so and it's a luxury sedan from 90s it's still alive it's still in a great shape and when you drive in this old lexus you still can feel that uh luxury stuff whatever they they put in the car like a lot of different options but besides that the suspension the way they made it and the engine transmission the way they power it and the way it's working right now it's just insanely cool it's not cvt it is a four speed automatic transmission but it's such a powerful and nice combination i think nobody ever done it before you can't compare this unit with something else similar like BMW or Audi or any uh, what it used to be in 90s like besides BMW, Audi, Chevy, none of them but the reliability of this car is just insanely it's not even 100% I think it's 120% because it's asking nothing there is no lights there is it's never been check engine light on from the experience of the owner it's never been any problem the only thing right now this car has it's airbag light on and the crazy thing why the airbag light on when i ask him he say i disconnect the driver steering wheel airbag because in case i'm gonna crash someone or somebody gonna crash me their airbag gonna pop up i never gonna find this the same airbag like i have right now that's why i just disconnected in case of something i don't care about the rest so like i said this car it's fully original all the parts they are original from the factory and the fact headlights it is a glass it's just insanely cool nobody doing that look at the grill i mean there is a chrome pieces and it's a, i think it's a 30 or 20 whatever university for the lexus used to be so it's kind of last production of the third generation lexus ls uh, 400 1994 but same time it is a university edition that's why we have a golden emblem uh, the condition of the grill like brand new and when you open the hood on this car you're gonna see a lot of different covers plastics here and there next generation the second generation of this lexus they put the huge cover on the engine so you're not going to be able to see the whole engine and a lot of different hoses and pipes but i think the like the previous one we did the mazda 2024 there's a lot of different hoses under the hood that's what the japanese are uh, engineering for and the lexus from 1994 it is about the same there is a lot of different vacuum valves and there is a lot of different hoses pipes going here and there so you probably going to compare this car to any other uh, car production i mean any other automakers they not doing the same but for some reason japanese engineering 
they went ahead of that time, especially in 90s or 80s. This car has a famous V8 engine for the Lexus Toyota 1UZ. They've been using it later on on different Land Cruisers because Land Cruisers, the same generation, they've been using straight six. And after that, they modified it a little bit and they put it on the Lexuses and the, the Toyotas, Land Cruiser and all that kind of stuff. But that's the first engine UZ they made it. And it's just insanely cool because it still runs with zero problems that's uh that's pretty much it about this car i mean about this engine and uh, the way they build it but this engine it's such a simple and strong one because if you're gonna take for example any other engine or car and you're gonna say it is reliable this car gonna be a little bit up of that point of reliability it's gonna be somewhere on the top of it and uh, later on after 10 years i think this car gonna run exactly the same way as it's running right now so one of the proof for this car, it's one owner still original condition. When you open the trunk area and you see the thing like uh, first at kit, you're gonna see that kind of stuff. It's all original. So it's still the same way they put it at the factory. They put it together and they put it inside the car. So I think a lot of things, they not exist anymore, but nobody never opened it so it means the owner of this car never had any problem with his health <laughs> on the other side of the trunk we have a tools and those tools they are original nobody even use them because the screwdriver it has a sticker on it so the there is nothing says on that but there is a steel sticker besides that there is a flashlight and it's not a regular flashlight uh, it is a red one. So the, in Japan, they do that kind of stuff. If, you, if you're gonna get stuck on the road in Japan, they're using that red signs, like a f uh, flashlight or the, the burning stuff, the one they put it on the road. So here is the flashlight. And besides that, there is a still original Panasonic alkaline batteries. So you can use them for the flashlight. I don't think they're still working because they kind of corroded, but they are, 30 years old and they still sitting in a trunk so i'm gonna put it back together i don't understand why this car uh not holding the value like the other cars that that kind of rock i have no idea what is it for uh maybe to put the tools inside or to clean something but it is still here so all the tools are original and this car right now you still can buy it for about I don't know, five, six, seven thousand, depends on condition. I don't know how much money he would ask if he would put it for sale, but I know for a fact he doesn't want to sell it. He just want to keep it until the end of uh, his life, I think. But uh, it's not that expensive. Maybe later on, after five, 10 years, this car is going to be uh, super expensive. But for now, you still can buy it less than 10,000 and it might going to be in a great shape like this car but it's super rare right now like every year there is a less and less those kind of 90s car on the road and um, they just crashing and uh, you know the insurance company they pay in total loss they don't want to fix the car because basically you cannot find the parts for it but all the parts they made so good the bumper i mean you can put it together from a lot of different pieces and it's still going to be one piece it's insane the quality used to be back in 90s especially from japan they still uh appreciating right now in uh, 2024 in my opinion in my case they are i am appreciating the, those kind of cars because they just insanely cool it's a huge part of the history and the way they changed the market u.s market back in the days it is insanely cool too because nobody can compare nobody was thinking about lex is going to come and take the huge part of the market and huge part of the sales and uh, whatever uh, government been asking from the Japanese manufacturer like you have to do this HR valves and all that kind of stuff catalytic converters they've been doing it they've been changing it, replacing it and again presenting next year a uh, modified car just because they say we want to stay on the market and that's how we are have a that's how we are right now have a new Lexus LS and they just like a uh, like a spaceship so this 30 years old Lexus LS is still perfectly fine. All the options inside the car is working. We do have a Pioneer 
sound system. Some of them used to come with Nakamichi, which is much more expensive and much better quality sound. But this one, it's not bad at all. So the sound system still working fine. The all the speakers they're not making noise. The steering column, it is adjustable. We have a switch. Some of the new cars, they don't have that switch and they don't have that option, but this luxury Lexus still working perfectly fine. So the seat belts on this car, it is adjustable. So basically you can push the button and the seat belt going to go up and down. The power seat itself, it is also working fine. Even the headrest, it is electric. It is a power headrest, same as a BMW. That's cool. The climate control is still working fine. The AC is super cold because it's a Lexus Toyota. So the controller for the CD changer, the one that sits inside the trunk, it's still working. We can put some CD or some tape and it's all working perfectly fine. One of the cool options, we have a dim for the rear view mirror. That's insane. And the mirror itself, it's not falling apart. It's still in a great shape. And it's functioning well. That's insanely cool. So there is a sun visor right here in the middle, the small one. And those two on the sides, look at the condition of that thing. The light is still working. The moonroof, for sure it's gonna work because it's Lexus. So nothing broken, everything is functioning well. And the car drives just amazing. And some of them, I think those are optioned with the Nakamichi sound system. They used to have a air suspension on the back, magnetic or whatever, but this car doesn't have it, just a regular suspension on the back. And like I said, there is an airbag light on because the guy, basically the owner of the car, he disconnect the driver airbag in case of the accident and he not gonna be able to find the same airbag as this car has. And if you're gonna pay more attention, those lights on the cluster, it is a projection so basically we have a bulbs right there on the top it's like a screen so the light on the top the screen is a cluster and it's doing project on the cluster from the top of that it's just insane because I never seen that before or I might seen it but I never pay attention on the way they made it the steering wheel itself the leather on the steering wheel it is in great shape, so the guy basically put the cover just to save the steering wheel, not because it's falling apart and he put it to cover that. No, he put the cover to save the original leather on the steering wheel. And all the buttons, all the switches on the old Lexus or old Toyota, it just super cool to click it, you know, the, the, the way they used to do it, all those buttons, they're not doing it anymore. Uh, it's not the same. Sound system equalizer, those switches, I mean, who else doing the same? Not right now, not anymore.